In this episode of Toys, Bags, and we're going to be taking a look at Mad Marauders Barbecue. What is a marauder anyway? Marauders are one who roams from place to place looking for people to kill, things to steal, or destroy. Taking a look at the front of the box, I say this every time I get one of these figures, but this is probably one of my favorite covers I've seen so far. It almost looks 3D. I tried this with 3D glasses, and it's not 3D, I'll tell you, but I just really like it. Now, this is the Mad Marauders. They changed it to Mad Marauders instead of Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders, and I'm not sure why they did that, but it's okay with me. Taking a look at the front of the package, you can see down on the left-hand side, the actual picture of the figure. He is number 58. Here's the right side of the packaging with some more artwork of the figure. You can see his ranks here on the left-hand side. Now here on the left in the back with all of his accessories on. And on the right, he's got his separate accessories. And you can see that he is 6.47 inches, 164.4 millimeters. I like that, that they put that on the back of the box. Taking a look at the figure out of the box, he is tied into this open face box here on the right. And on the left, you can see his crate with the number 58 and Barbecue's full name on the front. Gabriel Barbecue Kelly. Now, I, I like these crates that they have with all these figures. They've been doing it a lot lately, but uh, I've got so many of them now. I think I'm just going to end up putting these back in the box where before I was actually putting them on display. I want to take a look at his accessories next here. We've got his backpack here. It's got the three tanks on it. I like that, how they're blue with the black. There is some really fine detail too. We've got a tab here for one of the hoses and a holder for one of the axes. And you can put both of the axes in this holder. Turning it around, we can see the little peg you can put on his back. And in the back, they still have some detail on there. That's nice. Here you can see his pistol. There's the details there. He did come with a pistol and the same style backpack with the original figure. And we'll take a look at the original figure soon. Here's the hose. It does have a lot of texture on this hose. It's almost got like a ribbed texture on it. You can see that there. It's kind of a rubbery kind of plastic. He does come with two axes. He's got a small axe and a large axe. I find that the axe on the left is reminiscent of the original three and three quarter size uh, figure axe. I really like the silver details with those spikes on the handle there on the left. Those are really cool. Really reminiscent of the original one, but they are quite a bit different in shape. And we'll take a look at the original one later on in this video. Some really great detail on those axes. Here he is, all armed up. He can hold everything. And I really like this figure. Uh, Barbecue was one of my favorite three and three quarter figures, the first version anyway, back in the day. Unfortunately, I don't have the six inch version yet, but hopefully I'll get him soon. It would have been nice if they would have given us some water or blast effects for his pistol here. You can see there's an opening at the end of the muzzle. He does have separate straps here on his legs for holding his gun on the left and his axe here on the right. I tried putting his big axe in there and it doesn't really fit. So it's probably made for the small axe. Here's where the big axe fits really good. You can put the small axe in the back, but the big axe does fit better on the backpack. You can see here where the hose wraps around and it's pegged into the back of the backpack and then into his pistol. The details on his chest, you can see that, that this is a separate piece and you probably have to take his arms off and his head off to be able to get this off. Underneath this though, he's all brown. There's no 
uh, paint detail that I can see, but he still has pretty good movement at the waist, but his chest articulation is completely impeded by the vest here. You can also see the nice hose detail in the side of his jaw and the paintwork for his mask and goggles. So I like that. That is a nice update from the original three and three quarter one. Here is a close up of those details on that middle tank. Not sure what they mean. If anybody out there knows, you can let me know. Here's a side view. And here's the other side view. I wish I had version one barbecue that I could show you a comparison of, but I don't have that. And he is the exact same figure, just repainted. Here's all the different display options that you could have with it. I like this one with him holding both axes in his hands. That is really cool. Here's another one here with just the axe in his hand and the pistol in the left hand, trying to get through a door or a wall. And this is how I'm going to display him on my shelf. He looks really good. Now I'm going to have to get the rest of the Marauders. Taking a look at the original three and three quarter inch figure from 1989. His colors have been muted quite a bit where the original figure had brighter greens and brighter blues. And even the brown is a little bit more of a reddish hue to it. You can see how uh, the original figure's mask is not painted as much. He still has the black over his eyes. And the backpack is in a silver color instead of the nice blue and black. Still a great comparison. I mean, they did everything that they needed to do to update this figure. And I do think that they did all the right things. Even the axes are a little different than the original one, but I think they look fantastic. So that's my review of the Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders Barbecue. I'm going to call him that because that's what he is. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. Take care. See you later.